Welcome to the Lakers News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. The Los Angeles Lakers evaluated centers Tristan Thompson and Tony Bradley this week, but opted not to sign either. There is still a roster spot available that can be used to add depth to the squad. With M.O. Bamba out for the rest of the regular season and possibly the playoffs, the Lakers would be wise to bring in someone to help down the stretch who can rest Anthony Davis against stronger opponents, playing 8 to 10 minutes per game. The alternatives may not be amazing, but they are available. Nerlens Noel signed a 10-day deal with the Brooklyn Nets after signing his release from the Detroit Pistons this season. Unfortunately, Noel's 10-day contract led to nothing further, and after it expired, the Nets signed up incoming center Moses Brown, ending his time with the team. This, however, leaves him free to train with any team in the NBA in hopes of filling a position at the end of the season. The Lakers have already expressed interest in Noel, as the team reportedly traded with the Pistons for a deal arrangement that would include Noel. Although Noel wasn't top prize in that deal package, it does demonstrate that there is some desire to have him on the team. Vernon Carey Jr. is probably the best center depth option available to the Lakers. Someone who is still on the market at this stage of the season and hasn't been acquired by another team shouldn't be overrated. While Carey is the top pick of the bunch, he won't completely transform the Lakers. However, he has greater potential than the other players on this list. While it is far from certain, Carey could be a member of the team beyond the 2022-23 season due to her age. Carey is only 22 years old, and while his NBA numbers have been unimpressive, his G League performances have demonstrated that he has serious potential. Carey is averaging 17.6 points, 8.5 rebounds, and 0.9 blocks in 25.8 minutes per game in 32 G League games. He's also a shooting center, as seen in his improvement this season, hitting 36.4% of three-point attempts in 14 G League games this season, averaging 2.4 attempts per game. In my opinion, the Lakers should focus on signing a true center who can offer depth and log important minutes, especially against better opponents. While there are several options available, they should prioritize those who can offer more potential and have more upside for the future.